was founded in 2002 uh, when Patrick Gauthier and myself had dinner at my home and we talked about how there weren't a lot of opportunities for emerging artists in Ottawa to create new work and we decided well we might as well just start doing it ourselves and so we did. Uh, favorite moments over the past 10 years uh, I think would be uh, receiving the pre rito award in 2007 for the Churchill Protocol, uh, our first tour in 2004 when we drove across the country uh, at, on the French circuit for Pygmalion, uh, 2010 we put up Airport Security which was our first fully realized production outside of the Fringe Festival model. We would do shows at the Fringe Festival every year starting 2002 and then 2003. We also produced a uh, play by Harold Pinter in, no, Edward Albee, oh, I'm terrible, uh, in uh, 2003 as part of the GCTC late night series that they had at their old location at the Gladstone. And then come 2004 we were more of a collective and we developed, uh, we added our uh, collective members and our core members Chris Joseph and Gabriella Silverstone and they joined us for Pygmalion which we did as a collective creation and we actually took on tour across the fringe circuit which is when we got into touring and then between 2004 and 2007 our productions toured the fringe every year every summer and since that time we've now branched out into doing main stage productions and they are all new work we're now exclusively devoted to new work and specifically new work focusing on art by Ottawa artists. Snapshot is a fantastic project uh, I think for our 10th anniversary. Uh, it's a new play by an emerging Ottawa artist uh, and 10 years ago we were founded uh, by Tanya and I to create opportunities for emerging artists which at the time was us and now 10 years later we can give those opportunities to the next generation uh, of Ottawa emerging artists which I think is uh, pretty cool. We've got a, an older character, he's a man in his uh, 70s and we've got a young female character who's about 19 years old and uh, I was really interested in both those stories. I've been inspired by you know grandparents in my own life who've lived very active lives in their senior years and continue to grow and change and make new choices uh, and I was really interested in exploring the the parallel of that a young woman who's uh, dealing with you know the crisis of uh, being a teenager verging on adulthood and kind of confronting the expectations of her and uh, looking at how she deals with that. And it's a story that speaks to many different people's experiences. It speaks to a young person's crisis, you know, being in university and trying to figure out what you're going to do with your life and, and trying to tackle those really big questions. Um, it also speaks to uh, an experience that I've, I've met a lot of people recently going through um, dealing with the loss of a parent um, or uh, a loved one. Uh, you know, we've, there's a lot of baby boomers who are going through that right now, so I think that that really speaks to, to a huge audience. And I'm really interested in, in uh, creating an experience where those different groups of people's experience can come together and try to see uh, what they share and what they have in common and what they can connect. So I think this play is really a space to do that. Uh, in the next 10 years, uh, I see us producing more. I see us uh, continuing to produce uh, new work by Ottawa artists. Uh, and I see us continuing to experiment with form and content the way we have been for the previous 10 years. I see us doing a lot more new work and opening up more towards new artists like we've done with a snapshot with Karen Balcom and exploring the work of other artists here in the city and not just focusing on us so much now because we've had the benefit of establishing ourselves and now we have this company that's been here for 10 years so now we can start to share and grow 